In this video, we are asked to determine what the key terms refer to in the following study. A study was conducted in a local community to analyze which voters would be likely to vote and how on an upcoming bond. And we are given the terms here, statistic, population, parameter, variable, sample, and data. Then we have the definitions that were supposed to match with those terms. A, voted and didn't vote. B, a group of voters in the community who voted randomly selected. C, the attendance of an individual voter. D, all elig eligible voters in the community. E, the percentage of eligible voters who actually plan to vote. F, the percentage of eligible voters participating in the study who actually plan to vote to vote. Okay, so let's start with some of the easier ones to identify quickly. First of all, the statistic would be a measurement that comes from the from a sample, while a parameter would be a measurement that comes from the entire population. So if we can identify anything that would appear to be a measurement or a count of some kind, something quantified, a uh, quantity, a quantitative number or a um, um, you know, some sort of metric, then it'll be one of these two, and we just have to decide which one is for the population, which would be a parameter, or which one is for the sample, and make it a statistic. Okay, so I'm going to zero in on the ones that say the percentage of, because those are metrics or measurements, uh, some kind of quantity uh, referring to either the sample or the population. Now, let's read these two again. The percentage of eligible voters who actually plan to vote that's E. F is the percentage of eligible voters participating in the study who plan to vote. So those sound exactly the same. It's just that F has a few extra words in it, participating in the study. So how does that make it different from option E? Well, talking about a study involves a sample or a subset of the entire population. So part F or answer F is referring to a sample, whereas E is referring to the entire population. So E would be the parameter since it's referring to the entire population and F would be the statistic since it is referring only to those in the study. All right, so now we've narrowed down a couple of options off the list. So now we just have options A through D to match up with these terms up here. And the next one I think that is the easiest is to look at the answers to a question. Voted, didn't vote. So you can picture someone going out to collect data and asking the people in the study, did you vote? And then they're either going to vote, say they voted, or they're going to say they didn't vote. So those are answers to a question. So answers to a question are the actual data. So A is data. And then the next easiest one to identify is um, what goes along with the answers to a question is, well, what would be the question that they're asking? The attendance of an individual voter would be what they're recording or what they're going out and asking people to get the answer or however they're doing it, however they're figuring it out. This is the question. What was the attendance of an individual voter or potential voter? And then the answers to the question would be the data while the question itself is the variable. And then we have sample and population. And I know I was saying I was going by the easiest, but I didn't really. I think maybe population and sample might be the easiest, and I don't know why I didn't zero in on those first. But the population is all of the members in a population, <laughs> um, a collection of of individuals, either people or it can, it doesn't always have to be people, um, but the population is all of the individuals that you're interested in studying. And then a sample would be just some. Right, so um, which one of these indicates that we're talking about all and which one of these indicates that we're talking about some? So. Um, this one says a group of voters, right? So that starts to make me think about either population or sample, because we're talking about a collection of individuals that we would be studying. So where is this group of voters? It says in the community who voted, and then at the end it says they were randomly selected. Ah, so there's a sampling system or a sampling um, mode or method 
added to the end of this to let us know that that is the sample. And notice that this one says all eligible voters. So the word all there leads us to think about the population. So that would be D.